Hi everybody, welcome back to my 100% walkthrough of Assassin's Creed Revelations. On this video we are going to be doing the secret location of the Hagia Sophia, which is simply called Hagia Sophia Secret. So after opening the, getting the 10 Ishkar Pasha pages, we get a tomb that comes up on the map. I'll show you that now, it's over here, and we finished it. It's in part of Hagia Sophia. So let's just get there. I'll speed it up until we get there. Which is just a doorway. So run through here. Down this way. And over here in the left and third arch is the entrance to the hidden tomb of Ish Pasha. And this is partly 100% by the way, this is 1% uh, of the game. So you have to do your 10 memoir pages and then you get this. Right, you come. So, Hagia Sophia's, or Hagia Sophia's secret. Um, so we've got to find the tomb of Ishkar Pasha, but we've also got to do it in six minutes, and that's not difficult. One of the easier tombs I've ever played, I think. So you went up here, where the white cloths are is always a sign. Jump and swing and jump. The camera changes, so you can jump onto the wall. Back eject to this wall. Come shimmy round to the right and back eject again, and then shimmy to the left. Keep going until you get another back eject sign. There it is, and back eject to the chandelier. Jump to the beam and go uh, right uh, through the window, and then jump down like that. Get this amazing cutscene of Hagia Sophia. <laughs> okay, see the white cloth over the box there? That's a sign you gotta climb up it. So run up, climb, jump up, back eject to the chandelier. You've got three chandeliers in a row here, so we can jump across on one and again, then jump to the wall and climb up. You get to the beam. Follow the beam round. Uh, jump and swing to the platform and then jump down the zip line. There's a ladder comes down in case you fall. Now climb up the barrels up here, shimmy to the left and then climb up the, where there's a room to do so. Immediately at the top you turn right and do a long jump across the gap. Swing round to the right here, climb up the barrels with the white cloth. Uh, shimmy to the right and keep going right the way round until you get the back eject message. Which is there, back eject. You see there's another zip line, so take the zip line. Okay, go to the right hand side, jump over onto this beam, onto this beam, then jump back across the left, onto this beam, and through here. And then you run at this, and do a long jump. There we go, we're through there. Turn around to the left, up you go, over that little bit. Another barrel there onto the beam, turn to your left and climb up this little structure here. And then back eject to the beams when you get around here and climb up again and then climb up again, that's it. Now shimmy round to your left, climb up and get a back eject message to there and another zip line. So down the zip line we go. 
climb up this structure here. And once you get to the top here, you're going to shimmy to the right quite a long way. So just keep shimmying to the right. Until you find a place to climb up. Which is here. Climb up. And when you get the message, you can back eject to the chandelier. And there's a checkpoint marker on the top of the middle chandelier. Get that! Then you get a cutscene. Which will open a little floor below you. And so you can do a leap of faith into that hole. And climb out and you'll find three treasure chests before you open the tomb. There's one. There's two. And there's the third one. Now you can open up the tomb, which is like one of the Assassin's Tombs in Brotherhood. Or Assassin's Creed Tomb, more like. And we get the best armour in the game, a bit late, but we get it. It's Ishkar Pasha's armour. There it is. It looks pretty cool. I like the look of it. And now we can leave the area and we get the optional objective is completed as well. Because we did it in under six minutes. And as we walk back to Constantinople, we get the 100% sync. There it is, 100% sync of Hagia Sophia's secret. So we emerge from this uh, manhole cover and I'll just show you on the DNA menu when we get out um, what we've achieved. So if we have a quick look at the DNA menu we will see that over in additional memories we've now done them all. The Ishkar pages have been done and all the treasures have been got as well now. So that's all done. Um, and you can see there we've got the secret locations done, although there's another one to come apparently, but we'll wait and find out what that is at a later date. But that's where we're going to end this video, so thank you very much for watching. And until next time, requiescat in pace.